Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Aussie Farming in the Philippines. G'day you bastards! Well, what's happening? Today, hobby farmer is a steel fabricator. How's that for a word? Steel fabricator. So what I'm going to do today, it's bloody hot as shit, the humidity is that high. Well, I'm going to make a start on anyway, I'm going to make a frame on that bottom half over there and make up a door and hinge it onto the post and then all this will be covered in wire. But it won't get all done today because it's um, quarter past ten already. So gone out, got the steel, got all the goat food for Chick Chick. Got back, Papa's just done a big harvest of the Lanzana. He's got two great big bags full of all that. So that's more money for Mama at the shop. See guys, money does grow on trees. Right, so today, steel fabricator. Let's see how I go. Right, so this is level. May not look level, but dead on the spirit level. Where the ground is, it's that illusion. Plus there's a big rooster in the way too. Get out of the way, you big bastard. Right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna make a door frame up that will fit in here. I'm not gonna put one across the top because that's good enough. And remember, it's a, it's a um, door and it's not weatherproof and all this shit. So this would be fine. That's level across there. So I'll make up a doorway here and then this will all be netted in through here and this will be netted through here. These have got to be dug deeper, the holes, so that she can put all her um, goat poo in. And then her bags, she bought bags of um, soil from the gardening shop. And uh, this will all be cleaned up, levelled and all that. So we're getting there, guys. It's a good surprise present for Chick Chick. I'm not telling you that it's for her birthday, so I'm keeping it a surprise. Right, so I've got the frame all welded up. I've still got to put some crossbars in, but... Um, I've got to go and feed me animals. Please, sweet to pouring out of me. That rain and humidity is just wicked, guys. Absolute wicked. All right, I'll go and feed the animals and come back and do some more. All right, something that these chickens love and they go absolutely ape shit on, muck muck, is rice. They go ape shit on rice. Ape shit, I mean, you wouldn't believe these bastards. I can't put any here because this is where Stubbs ties up. I don't want them around this area. Buck, 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 buck. Just give them a call. Look at this. Look, here they come right from the back. Right up the back, they're coming. Buck, buck. Try and get on the pathway so that they can see it. But I tell you, they love this shit. They absolutely love this shit. Buck, buck. Buck, buck. Oh. They get, they get some. Man. I don't know what it is, even Bob said, what is it? They think it's maggots or something like that? What is it? Seriously. Buck, buck. Here, babies. There you go. Uh, don't know. Oh, lost my fucking foot. Uh. Uh. Yeah, Bob said the same thing. He goes, what makes them go so crazy over rice? You know? But they love that midday rice. Weird shit, guys. Right, I've just gone, gone and got Chick to give me a hand just to hold this while I screw this bastard on. So she's made up, the frames, the hinges are on. I'll put the lock on over here so it's at the right height. So I'll get Chick now to give me a hand. Right, well, I've run out of time, guys. It's two o'clock, so I'm going to have to pack up and come back tomorrow. So I've got to weld up on the top there, I've got to weld up on the bottom here, fit the lock, and um, I can get the wire through then. But what a bummer, just run out of time. So, we'll see you tomorrow. Right guys, so it's the next day, it's seven o'clock. Hey, I. Is that for the chickens? Yeah. Lovely. So it's seven o'clock, got an hour till breakfast. So what I'm going to do is see if I can get that welded up. Hey, I. Weld it up. She'll agree with everything I say. Hey, I. <laughs> so, I've got an hour, so what I can do is I can get this door welded up. Welded up. And finished off today. So if I can get it welded up before brekkie, then everything can cool down. I can um, 
What the hell's going on here? Everything will cool down and then I can hit it with the red oxide. And I want to see how strong that top is. Otherwise I'm going to have to put a support bar in. But that's no problem, we'll work it out as we go. It's like everything. Hey, I'll tell you something funny. I'm going to make a video tomorrow morning about these chickens, right? I had to catch two Rhode Island Reds roosters who were running around shagging everything and giving the girls the shit. And they're, they're the perfect size for pot. Because last time we checked them, last time we checked them, they just weren't big enough. If you know what I mean. But I got this bastard. Hey, dude. You all right? Good. Hey, dude. So I've got, I got to get Chick to check him out to see. I think he's going to be a nice size. I think it's going to be a nice size. And this one here. He's still upset. So these guys are running around. Running around shagging every bastard. Right? So I'm going to do a video tomorrow and show you what happened. So I'm filling up all the water bowls. All the feed bowls, they're all inside. They're making so much fucking noise. They're all fighting each other. And all I did was I just picked this up in my hand and silence was made. You could have heard a pin drop because they know what it means when you've got that in your hand. I'll do a video tomorrow morning for you guys. Fucking hilarious. Dead quiet. See, look. <laughs> okay, carry on. Right, so I'll get the, get the world to set up. Let's get back into this job. I love these helmets, I tell you. I love them. Andreas Martin. Thank you very much. Andreas Martin, very big supporter of us on the farm. He's been here a couple of times too from Germany. Had two visits, he's been here. Right, so that's in. So that's, I put it on the outside. I didn't want to countersink it down even with that because I wanted more strength. And especially with my welding, you know, like fuck me, hobby farmers. But um, that's okay, done. Done. I didn't worry about the drill holes covering them in. I think a bit, a bit of paint on them will do it. But it's not going to be padlocked. This is just going to be, this is just a lock to keep the door steady. So, chicks just call me breakfast. So, I will then repaint all this or undercoat it all with red oxide. Once that's dried, then I'll hit the wire onto there. And um, she's got a boy coming in today to um, pick up all the poo from the goat house. And, but she wants these dug deeper. So I'll get the auger out and dig these deeper for her. Then she can fill it up with all the poo and be done. Right, Tilly, I'm going for brekkie. Right, all undercoat rust proofed. Looking bloody good, mate. So I'll let that dry, then I'll run the wire right the way across and just cut it up where the gate is. Quite simple to do. Second the same as the other side. Run it all through, I'll wire it off and then tie it off. So let's wait till it's to dry and let's get more done. What do you reckon, big boy? Not happy, taking over your land. Invasion, white man. Mm. I love this machine, guys. This little tool. I tell you, it is beautiful. Very cheap. Get them on um, Lazada. Get them on Amazon. Get them anywhere you want. But when you buy them, make sure you buy a heap of clips. Because go, you go from like, like an automatic rifle. If you've got a bolt action, you don't go through many many rounds. If you've got an automatic, shit days you go through. So I've just ordered five boxes, or was it six boxes, to do the back fencing out on the estate. And they arrived yesterday. We'll go and pick them up from Mama's later on today. But um, definitely when you buy this, buy the boxes, buy at least a thousand odd at a time of these ones. Right, so as you can see, so I stretched the wire across the bottom and I've just screwed him straight into the, straight onto here. This is not cut yet, so that's the last thing I'll do is I'll cut through here. Once I finish all these joins on, make sure they're all tight. And uh, I've got to run the rebar I've got in there across the bottom, same as I've done on the other side. And um, put more clips on. Then I've got to do the top area, so it's just the top and those bottoms with rebar. It's going to work okay. So this will stay joined, this will. And all I'll do is just cut through here, like so. Oh, look what you found. Look, it was, uh, it was like upside down. It was down. upside down, couldn't get up. Yeah, so it got stressed. In the, the heat. Fly, in the heat. Right guys, so it's done. We've got all the bottom strips down. I just got to go into town. I need a place to got oxyacetylene so I can get some good right hand bends 
45 degree benders actually so and put pegs down through there I could do it with the welder on arc and just burn the guts out of it and bend it but we're going to town anyway I've, I've got um, over a dozen there to go through I've got a piece of bamboo to go across here yet I've got to cut from up the back part that it's all finished it's all working voila so this one was chick's birthday present for her that was my motivation to get going on this so do you like it baby so she, she'll do all the planting, she's going to put the vines in, she's got pots to go around the sides of them, all that to protect them, everything like that. So I've made it, she's just got to fill it. <laughs> but even the bark one is so nice. Isn't Look. it? Oh. Mm. Well that's it. I'm going to go and have a shower, it's my third, third change of clothes for the day, and it's not even 12 o'clock. It's probably heat stress darling. All right, guys, that's the build. So I can get back to normal things on the farm. The thing is, I still, every hour on the hour, I've still got to go and water everyone because they're going through so much water at the moment. But uh, not to worry. So there you go, that's Chick's Vine, all finished off. So it's been a good few days. I've thoroughly enjoyed it and got it done. And thanks for Bob for giving me the original hand at the start of it too. Thank you, Bob. All right, guys, I'll catch you all later on. See you later.